Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I recently posted a video of a, of a 2017 TRF 250L rally, which I ride uh, when I can't always get to the trails and bring my trikes out to the trails, because obviously they do require being on a trailer or being in the back of a pickup. So I have to find ways to have fun locally. And I own some bikes, which I'm able to get to the trails and uh, ride and still have some fun. So anyway, Continuing that, this is a 2001 Kawasaki KDX 220R. Uh, this somehow acquired a street title in its uh, in its past, a New Jersey street title. So that's how I purchased it. Uh, so it is registered and insured, and I do ride it down the roads legally to get to my favorite trails. Um, I've owned several of these bikes in the past. I've owned 220s, I've owned 200s, I've owned 250s. Uh, these are arguably one of the finest trail bikes you can get. Um, they don't exactly keep up with the newer KTMs and Betas and Huskies and stuff like that, but they're also not meant for that. These are much more mild-mannered bikes. Um, they're as excuse me, they're as reliable as the sun, pretty much. Uh, as long as you change out these. Uh, 220 top ends with Wysico top ends because they had a some some type of casting issue where those um, the piston skirts would uh, would crack and they would eventually take out and grenade the entire motor. So I've done that on this bike, um, so I have no worries about that. But like I said, they're mild mannered. They are extremely capable. They're strong. They lug like tractors down low. Um, so anyway. This is my 01. I haven't done too much to it. The previous owner put on the uh, motocross rear fender. That rear light. Um, ba -ba -ba. They did this this uh, headlight shroud as well as headlight. I'm not sure who makes it. I think it says DHH on it. So I'll try to post up a link about or uh, to whoever makes that. Also wired up. They also wired up this. Uh, this kill switch which I'm not too crazy about it seems kind of flimsy but it does work anyway since I've taken ownership of the uh, the bike I've uh, I've installed these UFO front disc brake guards and fork guards which I don't know I'm sure they do guard it to some degree I just love the way they look I think they're cool kind of vintage looking these hand guards I believe are from eBay they're probably some China made hand guards but they do serve their purpose very well very effective uh tusk rear fender bag throw your extra spark plugs and tools in there I put on these pro taper um 7 8 bars on it as well as 30 millimeter um risers if you can see them down there i still find it that they're a little bit low for my liking um so i've got some um rocks risers two inch risers on the way to kind of raise them up a little bit and make it a little bit more comfortable when I'm standing on the pegs. Um, the suspension on these bikes is, I, I'll admit, it, they're like a couch. They are 100% like a couch. So um, not exactly high performance, but damn, are they comfortable. If you really want to end up hitting some bigger jumps or really taking them off-road and, and doing some hardcore enduros, I would recommend beefing up the suspension quite a bit because these are very, very, very soft. And uh, if you push them to their limits, which aren't far, um, they will be bottoming out. I believe a company called Hyper makes this rear, excuse me, this bottom skid plate here. I forgot the name of the company. I'll see if I could post up a link to that as well. Let's see if it's on this side. No, nothing here either. Anyway, um, I didn't like the aluminum skid plates. I feel like they hang up on the rocks quite a bit if they're a little bit jagged. And the poly skid plates do glide over really well and effectively. So I opted for a poly skid plate. Got some works connections, uh, excuse me, works connection frame guards. Keep the nicks off the frame. Uh, cheapo eBay pipe guard which, I don't know, I like to keep things nice. This is a stock pipe, there's nothing special about it. They're about a dime a dozen on eBay, but I do like to keep my bikes really nice. So I opted to put that on there, even though there's a couple dents in it. 
but for me it's got to be pretty to be in my garage i don't own anything that's not beautiful finally fmf turbine core 2 silencer um i wasn't looking for power gains really i was looking for a little bit of a sportier sound so that kind of gave it to me it scratched the itch to some degree and uh i think that about does it for this bike i don't plan on doing much to it i have these temporary ideations of putting electron on it but it doesn't really need it i think it's fine for all for the for my intents and purposes it does the job i won't be uh, winning any races on it i just look to get to the trails have some fun get home in one piece and tuck it away anyway thanks for watching oh i forgot this the uh the fly easy pull uh clutch lever i installed that anyway just to finish up, thanks again for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe. I'll be posting more machines that I have in my garage in the future. Anyway, take care, ride safe. Come here, buddy. Say bye. Yeah.